One of the things that really stands out to me about the consumer electronics industry is how mysterious the production process is, and it's a murkiness that's really unique to CE. If you want to start a streetwear brand, some light internet sleuthing leads you to blogs, YouTube videos, and Reddit threads abundant with resources and first-hand accounts on pattern making, textile suppliers, and factories to get you from a sample to mass manufacturing for wholesale. Armed with 500 crumb tabs and just enough self-confidence, you could, in theory, start the next great American streetwear brand. But when you search how to start a computer hardware company, the well of information is considerably drier. Which factory should you choose? What materials should you make your products out of? How do you even get companies like Intel or AMD to give you chips to then turn into computers? What skills do you even need to design a product from scratch? Packing? Shipping? Regulations? Taxes? Turns out that building a computer from scratch is a tiny bit more complicated than sewing together a sweatshirt. And we're going to find out why. But before we get into building a laptop, we're gonna start with something just a little bit smaller, like an expansion card. I'm happy to share that Framework is starting work on a full-size SD card expansion card. The name is a work in progress. And before you ask, no, it's not ready yet. You can't buy it, and part of the development process is figuring out when you'll be able to. The Framework expansion card system is a hot swappable port system that lets you choose exactly which ports you want and where they live on your laptop. Your expansion cards are your ports. We, and by we, I mean our hardware team, have built USB-C, USB-A, HDMI, DisplayPort, microSD, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, and storage expansion cards. So Nirav asked our online community in March 2021 which expansion cards they wanted to see next. With ethernet crossed off the list, it's time to work on the full-size SD. So I know what you're thinking. That poll was published over two years ago. Why the heck did it take so long to make? I did some internal sleuthing for you, and here's what I found. The full-size SD card expansion card was actually one of the first cards our hardware team had planned on building in early 2020. Despite how simple the expansion card seems, it's not as easy as ordering some PCBs, slapping them into some expansion card housing, and drop shipping them to our customers. All of the available SD card receptacles are just slightly too wide to fit in our expansion card housing. So in order to make the SD card expansion card happen, our team had to develop a custom card connector. And not to mention, when the team was scoping this project out, it was an engineering team of four. That same team of four was not only working on the SD card expansion card, but also the first lineup of expansion cards available with the launch of the Framework Laptop 13. They were also working on the Framework Laptop 13 at the exact same time. So the team decided to hit pause and wait until more time and resources were available. If you check on r slash framework or on our forums, there are members of our community who have been putting together their own SD card expansion cards by purchasing off-the-shelf products and dremeling the reader so they fit perfectly into the expansion card housing. But that's not a scalable solution for mass production. So the team is working on design and architecture that fits the constraints of the expansion card system. For the next few months, I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes here at Framework and show you how our team takes the SD card expansion card from ideation to mass production. But this video series isn't like any other behind the scenes from your favorite CE brands. There isn't a final product for me to share with you yet and no glossy retrospective for me to show. I'm learning about the design and development of modern consumer electronics products and sharing my learnings with you in real time. Timelines and features will change and our team will be running into design, engineering, validation, sourcing, and manufacturing challenges. Even if it turns out that this isn't a feasible product for us to make, I wanna take you along for the ride for as long as I can. This is how the expansion card sausage gets made. If there's anything you want to know about how the expansion card gets made, drop it in the comments down below. 